Okay, recording has started, so it hey. is December so thank- 10th. I Crazy, Shelly, you do the, the, you do the, the introduction. I just want to thank everybody for making time to listen in, whether you're live with us today or listening to the recording. We just wanted to take this opportunity to share some quick not necessarily difficult or complicated, but some ways to get to PRV. We, our goal was 500 by the 15th, and we still want to continue that conversation. So I just made some bullet point notes of some things that we should be doing over the next week, and we need to continue doing for the rest of the month of December, because we, are, as business owners, do not shut our doors. We stay open, and we stay available for our customers, even if it's cutting open a clamshell and using a Sharpie marker and making it into a gift certificate. We have ways to make sure Sensi gets under trees for the next couple weeks. So I want to kick it off with one of the most important gifts that we need to think about and offer this season. And Debbie Tapley is the prime example and the perfect person to talk about offering the Hostess exclusive kit because I can't tell you how determined and inspiring she is when it comes to making sure that she's offering the business opportunity with this $59 kit. So Debbie, I'm gonna turn it over to you for first, the first most important thing we should be doing. So I had a a party that I needed to close out. Um, It kind of was my catch-all party that, you know, the Star Wars was on, whatever. It was like a $500 party. And I was down in Florida working on mom's condo and decided that I was not going to close this party until I could find somebody to join using the host exclusive kit. I was not going to close the party without giving it away. And, um, you know, they say go for a hundred no's. I sent, oh, I don't know, 350 texts and um, maybe got 50 responses. Most of them didn't answer, of course. Um, the ones that did answer, a lot of them, over probably about 30 of them said, not right now, it's not a good time. Um, finally got one that said, well, tell me about it. And so I kind of just tried not to word vomit on her about everything about Sensi or any of that. Let, just gave her a little bit of information. She messaged me back with a few more questions and finally said, well, what happens if I don't sell the $200 in one month in the four month period? And I said, well, you just go inactive. No big deal. When it's the right time again, you can always rejoin for free. She's like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. And so it, took a lot of no's but I did get one and as we were talking back and forth after she had already done it I said you know I'm so glad that you jumped on and took the opportunity to build a business or just give yourself a discount whatever this turns out to be I'm just glad that you said yes she goes well I'm so excited I've been thinking about this for five years and never pulled the trigger And so, I mean, who knows where this will go, but I closed the party once she filled the, the everything out and there you go. We'll see where it goes, but she has a great opportunity and what she chooses to do with it. I mean, you know, it's up to her, but at least, Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, at least the doors open. I didn't close the party. Um, yeah, it's frustrating and a little discouraging when you text that many people and you, you, you sit there and you feel like I can't give this away. What in the world, what is wrong with people? But you just got to keep doing it and get that thick skin on and don't take it personally. And as people were saying, it's just not a good time. I made a list of everybody that said that. And they're in the back page of the note of my planner. So I'll just, when I've got another one, I'll just flip it there and start with those. And maybe it won't take 300. Maybe it'll only take one or two. But we'll see. Well, and I just love so many things about this story. First of all, your determination is completely inspirational. And second of all, the woman that comes back and says, I've been thinking about this for five years, just think if you weren't the one to offer her this exclusive kit and she went to somebody's Scentsy booth 
next weekend. You, she might be on someone else's team. We bought, we all know of that story. We all know that story. Oh, I didn't know I could join. Oh, you mean I can do this too? Well, yes, that's why we have to get in front of people. And, well, and, it's, and that's where follow-up is so important. I met her two years ago at um, probably Riley Festival. I think that's where it was. We don't, we live like an hour away from each other. And I mean, you know, but so yeah, she very easily could have ended up on somebody else's team or, you know, maybe not ever doing it. So we'll see. I was excited. Once I found that out, once that finally came out, it was like, wow, this is meant to be. And right now, I just read something, and I posted it on my team page. Tomorrow, it'll go up tomorrow, and I can, and other directors can share it. But it basically just says a lot of direct sales um, people right now are like done. Okay, shipping cutoffs over. Um, nobody wants to join. It's December. They're really busy. In January, no one does anything. Uh-uh. You guys, this is Sensi. We do not close. We are entrepreneurs and we see opportunity in everything, no matter where we are. If we don't need the money, I'm sure we can find a way to contribute it to someone that does. And those kicks can really make a difference. Did anybody see the microwave post? I posted it on my team page where someone had posted to their superstar director, Thank you so much. I didn't even think that this crazy sensey business would buy something so important to me and how a uh, microwave at Walmart means so much that I could go to Walmart and buy a new microwave for my family. We don't know what other people are looking for or what they need. And right now when they're trying to be generous and um, in the spirit of things, some people will overspend or realize that they're not providing um, the experiences and the things that they want for their family and they want something different for 2020 and it's up to us to make sure that we're getting that opportunity in front of people so as we're closing these outside orders or replenishing our stock and getting these last minute $200 orders in so that they're directly shipped in time for Christmas every one of those orders I want everybody to realize is eligible for a $59 kit all you need to do is have a $1 hostess reward left and you can add a kit and charge anyone that's interested $59. And if you're feeling the generosity of the spirit of the season and you know somebody that will be a rock star on your team in 2020 and you want them to be part of your Sensi team and your Sensi journey, all you need to do is gift them their host rewards towards that $59 kit. So if you have a $200 party going in, you can take the $20 host rewards and turn that $59 kit into $39 for that person. And it will ch make possibly change their life if they take advantage of the opportunity. So I hope that everybody understands the importance of being in front of people and looking for when you can fit this gift of the Sensi business and the Sensi journey into someone else's lives over the next month. You're gonna be around a lot of people in the next 30 days. So do not forget, you have the number one most important thing that you need to offer to people. Hey, yeah, Shelly. Yeah. I, um, I did post on the Circle City page, there is a training video about the host exclusive kit and flipping the party if you, you know, if that pertains to what you were doing. I did not flip this party to her. Um, you know, she didn't, yeah. Somebody didn't do really collect anything to orders. It, so. it could be their right. own orders, they could collect office orders. There's still seven days before the Christmas cutoff. And you guys don't forget, just because somebody's not getting it in time for the 24th, a lot of people celebrate later, maybe not until January, maybe not until the 28th, Maybe they don't celebrate Christmas. They're still shopping Scentsy. Okay, this brings me to my next point I wanted to bring up. And I'm um, gonna use a personal story. It, it is so important that we stay in front of everyone and we can't just say no one is buying or no one's responding. I want you guys to just take a minute and think of yourself and what's going on in your world right now and how are you as a consumer? So my Mary Kay lady sent me a pink, pink ticket, and I have it. 
she, I just, I, I have to brag about her. She is in her top sales and she does amazing. She sent me this cute pink card. It's 20% off. Thank you for being one of my top 100 customers. To celebrate this season, here's a pink ticket that gives you 20% off your total purchase. Thank you for blessing my life. That's what she sent me in the mail. So then immediately, I didn't even open it yet. She had already sent me a text and said, I just want to make sure you got your pink ticket. And are you ready to place your order at 20% off? And I told her, oh my gosh, I have a few things that I want. Now, I could probably tell you that this is dated November. The, it, this, I got this over Thanksgiving weekend. She came to my house yesterday with my order and things for me to look at for different eye colors. Because she knows my, my world is busy, she stayed on top of reminding me that I wanted to take advantage. She did me the service. She knows I'm going on vacation. She knows I wanted lighter colors for me to take on vacation. And she, and she knew I wanted to stock up on some things I used at 20% off. I did not think she was a pest. I did not get mad at her for texting me once every two to three days. And I did not get mad at her for ringing my doorbell yesterday with my eyeshadow color choices. I promise you, I wrote her a check. She made a nice little sale with me because she was consistent and followed up on me. And I never, I will always order from her and I will always refer her to a hundred people because she got me what I needed. Now think of yourself and how many times you personally needed that reminder or you got a text and you forgot to respond to it. Okay, now we're a Sensi consultant and we just said 300 texts to everybody who's purchased from us. When we don't hear back from them, it's okay to send them another reminder that we have amazing products to put under their tree. It's okay to send them another reminder that you're having shopping hours on Saturday. And it's positively, absolutely fantastic to send an email and then follow up with a Facebook messenger. As much as you have time for, as much as you can fit in, take your top 100 customers and make sure that you're consistently following up and checking in with them until they say, stop, I don't need Sensi. <laughs> if you have not heard, stop, I don't need Sensi, when you're doing your follow-up, it is okay to continually follow up and remind them. Because chances are when they do turn around, when I followed up with a woman who has been, tra I've been tracking her down for six weeks now, trying to get her false sense, I finally tracked her down yesterday, I said, do you want me to deliver to you? I'll be in your neighborhood on Thursday. She's like, nope, what's your website? $142 later. So I didn't bother her. I reminded her that she needed to get her Christmas gifts for me. Okay, so you can tell how passionate I am about this because I know that there's several of you not necessarily live with me tonight, but that might be listening to this recording that are feeling like I, all I've done is send texts and reminded but I know how busy my life is. And I know that most of my customers are even probably crazier busy and we just have to stay in front of them. So text, text, message, message, remind until they say stop and as much as you have time for. I have one other great idea I'm gonna share with you guys and then I would love to open it up for anybody else who would like to share something. So the last brilliant idea I have for you is we only get two chances to do this every year, and our second one happens to be in the same season, and that is Friday the 13th. I don't know what it is about Friday the 13th that I love a Scentsy special for. So we all did those spook bags. I got those cute little um, creep it real bags and filled it up with green tissue paper and stock off my shelf, and I doubled my sales that week because anybody who was buying wax for me, I was like, for 13 bucks, you want my mystery bag for Friday the 13th? And I had two that I didn't sell that I made up and sure as, sure as um, anything, as soon as somebody bought saw them, they went out my front door. So Friday the 13th is coming up. I want to make this super ultra simple. I already did the math for you. You need to sell four Friday of the 13th Santa sacks for $13 and you need to sell six 
that cost $26 and you have 2000 and or 2000 $208 collected. So here's how it's going to work. You are going to text a message and I will post this so you don't have to write it down, but I will share this on Thursday so that on Friday you're ready to run with this. All you need to know is on Thursday you need to be ready for Friday to start promoting these bags. Take a picture. I bought some craft bags. Take a craft bag, put some red and green tissue paper in it, and it's empty. And you just snap a picture of it and you start texting it out. Would you like my Friday the 13th Santa sack? Or do you want to double the fun for 26 bucks and get the Santa sack plus three holiday fragrances to go with it? You don't have to tell them what they are unless they want to pick. So for $13, they're getting a surprise, and if they want to double the fun for $26, they're going to get the, the surprise plus three bars. Here's how you're going to order it. Don't hurt your head. I promise it's fast, and it's super easy. You're going to order everyone a room spray. Six, so then your six bags that are $26 are going to be a room spray, a car bar, and three bars. You're going to also order a half price room spray order and a body medley. So the four $13 bags that you sell are going to be a body product and a room spray. Done. And you don't even have to write anything down because I'm going to share all this with you guys on Thursday so that you're ready for Friday. Just make sure that when you're making the schedule for yourself for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that you are going to plan on Thursday, and then knock it out of the park with an hour of follow-up on Friday. Four $13 bags, six $26 bags. You're going to keep it super simple. You're going to have a $200 order to place on Friday to go with anything else you collect from all your other sales this week. <sighs> okay, and um, I, I have another one, which is your open house and shopping hours, but I'm not going to talk about it. You guys know how to do that. Who else has something fabulous that you're doing or something you need help with? Or how are you going to rock out the next couple days? Anyone else? Yeah, Mary Jane, what's going on? Um, I, I find that it's just really good at this time, of the, well, all, all year long, but this time especially, to invite your customers to come over and pick up their order from you. And this way you can have all your lights on make them walk through the room that everything's all lit up put brand new wax in half an hour before they come if they're coming unannounced and they're calling you and say i'm around the corner get out your room sprays and start spraying because when they when they walk in that first impression and they see what you have or they just get a glimpse i know a lot of us have a little area that we can display things i have sold like it just incredible amounts and then I always have a couple of bags that have already gift wrapped and they're not even Scentsy products it's just fake bags and I say oh I gift wrap by the way if you need me to and I'm not charging you for that as a, you know so I mean it's just a little they go oh you do I said yeah and one other thing all of my male clients or anybody that has a business I ask them can I offer my service for you to take a catalog, give me a price point, and I will pick out presents for your staff. I will gift wrap them and I will bring them to you whenever you want, okay? That's worked out really well for me. And I've also, um, my car, the guy that fixes our cars when we take in our vehicles for oil change and that, I asked him if he would make me, because he's real handy with woodsy and craft stuff, I asked him if he would make me a car bar hanger. And I said, and the reason I wanted that is I wanted to know if he would leave that in his shop. So, and then I said, I just want to know I will stock it. And if you have a really good customer and you want to pull one off and you want to sling it in their car and say it's from you, that's fine too. Can we try this for three or four months? He said, yeah. He took a picture. He made it. It's out of cherry wood and, and real light pine. And it is the coolest thing. He goes, it's ready. And it twirls. He goes, bring your bars. Come on. So I'm hoping that goes somewhere. 
He ever made a little slot on top for me to put my business cards? But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the um, the full the product sheets, fold them, and have a sample on them. So when you walk in, you're going to smell that. So that's that's just a couple ideas. That's great. I love it. Yes, getting your customers in your house so they can see the display and the free wrapping. Genius, because. Melissa has a story from this afternoon. Somebody needed one gift and they walked out with what? And then Jillian, yeah. you can go next because it happened to you too. Well, yeah, I called, I called Jillian. I said, no, I still, and I, Mary Jane and I laugh about this all the time. I still don't understand how people have a hard time selling Sensi because I called Shelly. I said, listen, I was doing something in my house, getting my stuff done. And customer texts and says, hey, do you have any more of those flowers in stock? And I said, yes. So she came over to grab a flower and left $81 later. <laughs> so it's just hilarious. So I call Shelly, I go, I got $81 in my pocket. And I didn't even get out of my sweats. Like this is the, it's the greatest thing. And so being even just, it's kind of like, um, well, it's kind of like what Janie said too. The being prepared and just having the little having little things on hand that people can add for, cause right now I'm getting tons of teacher gifts, thank you gifts, hostess, like, but all under the $20 price point, like 25 is kind of, uh, you know, kind of the max, but having those little tiny things on hand for people that just need little add-ons or last minute gifts are, it's, it's huge. Jillian, how that fragrance oh, flower yeah. turn out And then for Janie. <laughs> so, this woman found me on the search last week and then she wanted a warmer and then found out that the person she was buying the warmer for already had a warmer. So she's like, forget it. There goes my idea. I'm not going to get her anything, but when I need to fill up on wax, I'm going to call you. So I said, okay. So I waited a few minutes and then I sent her a screenshot of the fragrance flower and was like, why don't you get her something totally different? She's like, I need to see that flower in person excuse me, so she showed up today, 9.30 in the morning, I just dropped my kid off at school, she's like, okay, she smelled the, the uh, oils for the flowers, she bought one flower, and was like, I need wax, bought six bars of wax, was like, you know what, I want another flower, bought a second flower, had the bag, she paid, was literally walking out the door, and we were talking about something, and she told me she had a dot, and she showed me the picture, and I was like, it looks just like our warmer, she's like, what? Literally had my truck was still full from the event from yesterday from Tom. We went out. She unloaded my car with me to bring in bags of warmers to find the Datsun warmer to which she threw down her last $40 in cash and walked out the door with the warmer. 102 bucks. She was here for 15 minutes. It was hysterical. And before That's I turn it back over to Mary Jane, I want to, anybody who's listening, whether you're live or recording, I just want to also point out, you don't need a lot. So as you're putting your follow-up orders together, as you're collecting your Santa sacks on Friday to seal the deal and make sure you have at least $200 to place an order on Friday, I promise you that order is going to be placed and shipped quickly. So use those host rewards and half price items and pick up a fragrance flower a couple extra bars, a couple room sprays, and use your host rewards wisely so that you have things on hand over the week of Christmas, and don't be afraid to do a gift certificate. You collect the money, you keep it on file, keep the credit card on file, and you just, I like to use a clamshell, and I am super no frills, nothing fancy. I take a clamshell and I write, $50, Shelly Sharp signature, contact me by January 31st to place your order. And I sell a gift certificate if I don't have what they need with a catalog. We all started with the same kit, with the same testers, out of a cardboard box. If we can do it, you can do it. Okay, so uh, Mary Jane, I saw your hand go up. Yeah, um, here's another thing too. When we have the flash sales, I know we all have warmers and night lights that are really inexpensive. Some of those night lights that were $8 a piece, I bought like maybe 15 of them. And I bought them, I put them in a gift bag, a generic one, 
and I have them all sitting there. And so when it comes time when I'm going to like a certain restaurant or I'm going to get, uh, I don't know, my teeth cleaned, anything. I like, I just, my dental hygienist, I love, I just say, you know what? I just, just think you should have this. And I just bring them that with the bar of wax. And they think, wow. And I can't tell you how many customers I have retained by giving them, you know, an $8 plus, you know, you know, whatever, $6 for a bar of wax, really five when you, when you buy them in a, you know, buy five, get one free. So I'm spending, you know, maybe 10, 15 bucks, but it's so worth it. I love that. Who else has something that they're doing? Debbie, then Lisa. So I am next Monday doing a craft event at an assisted living facility that I did a, um, an event with. I don't know, last month, I think, we're coloring fragrance flowers with the residents of the assisted living. So that's a really good idea, too. And, you know, so that's one thing. Plus, fragrance flowers are great for gifts. So you should always have those on hand because they're the perfect price point. And they'll have to come back and get more. And people don't bat an eye at the price. No, not at all. At all. Like, they just... They just don't even, yeah. You know, I got to say something about that price point. I ask these, I ask people when I say, I said, you're not going to believe this new gift that we have. It's unbelievable. I said, I want to just show you what it is. And I have one on display. I said, smell it. I said, I'm not used to these oil things with the sticks. I've never done it. Have you? And they go, yeah, I have. I said, okay, name a price. What do you think this would cost? And hands down, they say between 30 and 40. I go, nope. $16. They go, you're kidding. I says, no. So that's another thing. I have them guess how much it is, and then it's like half the price. Love it. Lisa, did I see you have your hand up? Yeah, I um, put in an order I, um, maybe last week or two weeks ago, um, and I just, you know, put it on Facebook, and a longtime client, she says, um, I really want those bricks, but I don't get paid till Thursday. I said, no problem. I'll get it. Are you, and she's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, I got it. So I ended up getting them half off because she doesn't know that. And um, I actually met her today. She works in Lansing and she drives all the way to Livonia. So it's an over an hour drive. So I met her off of an exit and she looked like hell tonight. And she was like, thank you so much for doing this. This like the littlest things mean the most. Like it felt good to be able to do that for her, to see her like so relieved that one, she got her bricks and two, that I actually met her. So she didn't have to come over even though she could have come over and I have all my sensey going. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share that. I love stories like that. Thanks for sharing Lisa. Did I see another hand go up? We have a few more minutes. Okay, so I, I hate that air. So you're gonna have to interrupt me. Um, I have two things that you might not know about that might help you out. And Shannon, I see you on here. So I'm gonna share this first. UPS, my husband had 14 boxes, seven sent by UPS, seven by a different carrier because they had to have at least five boxes of this product for a customer that needed it right away. Both carriers lost these packages they finally found five on friday that he was able to deliver to his customer and then he was going back to remake some stuff but the second carrier found theirs and so did ups you guys carriers and ups and shipping is not a hundred percent when we we have to stay on top of our direct ship i keep mine in a clothespin and I check every single day my order status and then as soon as I see something ship I text that customer right away and tell them look on your porch today your sh your your package should be shipped then I check in with them did you get your package okay you have to service these customers because there is going to be a time when the package is not delivered or it is missing and you have to act immediately and when you act immediately and you call consultant support, they will immediately file the claim with UPS and typically send you the missing product right away. So you cannot sleep on these direct ships, especially this time of year. The UPS truck that showed up with the five boxes was a U-Haul rental with boxes just thrown everywhere. So just picture this for anyone. 
So make sure you're staying on top of your orders. The second thing is very snowy spruce is like sold like back ordered. I didn't know this, but I saw somebody else was having a problem with it. So I called consultant support this evening and said, hey, I have two large orders I'm expecting and I'd like them by Friday for the weekend. Um, can you check if there's any back order items that are holding these orders up? She looked on both of them. Yeah, you have very spirits snowy spruce on all of those. I was like, well, the direct ship, can you just switch that to ice pine so she can get hers? And then anything else? And she's like, no, there's some very snowy spruce on the other order. I'm like, perfect. Switch it to ice pine and get that stuff sent to me. She did it within five minutes. And now my orders will switch to ships probably tomorrow. So that was another little fun thing I want you guys to know about. It might not always work perfect, but it's worth taking a look at. So pay it's attention to that. Wrap it up like you got two minutes. Well, I actually want to show, share something with you guys. If any of you have a personal relationship or a, um, a, a, that sounded bad, <laughs> but with your UPS driver, like I have the same UPS driver all the time. He is, unless he's on vacation or I have a sub, he is my main guy. And so I asked him the other day, because I happened to be outside working in my Sensi garage when he was delivering an order. And I asked, I said, I have a Christmas present for you. Do you have time to wait right now? Or can, can I leave it for you? And he said, I don't have time. I have, I'm, I'm on a tight schedule. He said, but I have to, I have to ask you, he said, and I've been telling all of my good customers this, that have said something to me about a Christmas gift. The best Christmas gift you can ever give a UPS driver is to call their supervisor and recommend their cert, say how happy you are with your driver. He said, that is the best Christmas present that you can give any UPS driver because you don't understand how much that means. I said, well, give me the phone number. He said, I can't give you the phone number because if you get directly to my manager, they'll know I put you up to it. Just call the main UPS line. They will get you in touch with your hub and you can ask for a manager and just say that you want to give a um, you just want to give a thank you or a recommendation, whatever I'm, I'm because I'm rushing. I'm, I don't have my words. So he is getting a recommendation or a thank you to his manager from me with a six pack of car candles. And I'm just going to write a card and say, I spoke with so-and-so. Thank you so much for your service so that he knows that I did and six pack of car send circles, which is I way better. I was, I was going to get I also love card. the people that are leaving the cold drinks and the snacks. That's super, super cute. Yeah. You guys, okay. thank you so much. It was super fun. Yep. Okay. Next, next week. week. Best, worst, funniest next week. Next week. So see you 